it's maintenance time again. So grab your foam roller and uh, if it looks like Carla is a little sleepy, it's because she is. But you know what wakes you up better than anything? Coffee. You know what the second best thing to wake you up is? Foam rolling. So I did not have coffee. I'm I'm relying 100% on the foam rolling, uh, but it foam rolling may be many things, and there may be some not super nice words to describe foam rolling uh, and our feelings towards it, but it does wake you up. You've got to give it that. So, assuming we've already foam rolled a few classes back, we know what we're doing, we know the drill, we've got our timer here, let's just get her done. Okay, this is maintenance, it's not pretty, it's not fun, but it's what we do and it makes us stronger and it makes us healthier. I'm going to start a 10 minute timer for quads. So I'm going to do right leg quadriceps. If you feel that 10 minutes is too long for quads, you can, when you feel done, you can do right side glutes as well. Okay. And then I'll explain more stuff later. Ready? This is, don't go away. This is good. This is good vitamins, right? Here we go. Timer's on. So as per usual, I'm going to start with my not on the IT band, but just in front of it. Feeling super sleepy, but that's okay. Here we go. If it doesn't feel awkward, um, it just does feel awkward. It will feel awkward. <laughs> Here we go. See, I'm feeling awake already. Just that initial Right, you're the IT band. Ah, oh, here's some things I was going to talk about. And wouldn't you know, I just forgot all the things. <laughs> because the other thing foam rolling does is it brings you right into the present moment where nothing else matters. Wow. So here's what, here's what we're feeling. We're feeling our boat pose day that we did, perhaps. We're feeling all those planks where our legs were super strong and uh, all of that we're working it out now okay so remembering our our points again especially if you're not really that familiar with foam rolling remember there's no like this is exactly how you're meant to do it find a spot when it's tender hold not too much if it's too much use your other leg and lift up off the foam roller a little bit so not too much weight onto the muscle and not holding in one spot too long. Okay. Try to tune inward when you're like, yep, that's enough. Move on. Again, there's no like right or wrong. It's really when your muscle is speaking to you, this is a great way to get that communication with mind body going. Hopefully this will feel better than last time. If not, that's okay. It often takes a few times. And it does feel a lot better after. First couple times are the worst, and then it's better. Remembering to slow, deep breathe throughout. So I've got my leg kind of lengthwise. I know it's a bit tricky to see with the camera and my dark pants on top of dark mat, but. Um, I'm going lengthwise along the IT band and just kind of holding it and rolling back and forth, but like a half of an inch kind of thing and holding. And I've got one knot oh, <laughs> right there. So sometimes if you have a knot, it'll sort of flip over and feel extra special. Breathing through it. I like how I'm usually like composed in <laughs> yoga classes, teaching yoga, except for foam rolling. Uh, too busy focusing. Okay, so I usually do that sort of sideways. And then, and again, you don't have to do the same as me, but then I go uh, where my leg is. Right? Perpendic, parallel, perpendic, whatever, this way. And I start at the top. And then I work my way down. 
but I'm still sort of on the outer side towards the IT band, but not on the super edge because I just did that already. Just to let you know what I do. You can do your own thing. It's a fun choose your own adventure. <sighs> Other things to note too, uh, just during this challenge, it's nice to, wherever possible, try to just be kind to your own body, right? It's hard to do yoga, a lot of yoga, and, and not be kind to your body. But at the same time, uh, like for me personally, I'm going through a bit of a pizza phase. And what I mean by that is it's my husband's birthday week. So there's... Um, I decided to order pizza and I ordered it from, I'm going to do a little plug for, um, what's, oh, where did I get it from? Jim's, Jim's pizza. I'd never been there before, but I had heard it's very good. So I ordered large, like the biggest they had. And I suppose if I had actually checked like the actual dimensions, I would have been aware that's really big. I've never seen a pizza box that big before, and I ordered three of them. And it's enough to feed an entire army, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we're working our way through that. Also, there may have been a little bit of cake. I ordered two of them, because you don't want to run out of cake. This is a very small party, by the way. <laughs> we didn't really um, have many people over at all. Uh, we had two people over, I think, and plus my family. So. Yeah, and then there was beer as well. My point is not, this is not like Carla's confession video, uh, but especially things like foam rolling, it's a detoxifying kind of a practice. So that if you're like, yeah, I had pizza and beer also, uh, you might feel like it's just not quite as fun as foam rolling ought to be. So what I'm gonna do is have a little bit of extra water today as well. But for the most part, you know, eating clean and all that wherever possible. But I, I wanted to, to mention that because I think there's a misconception that if you do yoga a lot, you never eat pizza or you never drink alcohol or you never uh, have processed foods or sugar or whatever. And that's kind of the goal. But I, I don't agree with feeling guilty for those things. Like, I was super stoked getting those massive pizzas uh, with the cheese kind of dripping off of it. Because it was, I mean, cheese. It's its own food group, I think, pretty much. You know, and having a drink or two here or there. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And the cake was divine. So I'll be enjoying that a little bit later today as well. That's my reward for foam rolling. In fact, I've just decided right now. Not like every day I'm going to foam roll and have pizza, beer, and cake, but uh, although, no, not a good idea. <sighs> okay. Feels great, right? So I am, I think, about half done my quads at this point. I'm curious, are we at the halfway point here? <gasps> More than halfway point. That means I better step it up a little bit. We've got about two and a half minutes left out of our 10. So if you're like, my quads are all done, you could maybe move on to glutes if you wanted to. We won't do glutes today, but we will do calves coming up. We'll do not 10 minutes, but we'll do our right calf in just a minute. If you're like, oh shoot, I already did that. Don't worry about it. You can either do uh, more quads if you didn't quite feel done there or glutes or something else, or you could do calves again. Okay. So last probably a minute. And one spot I like to be sure that I get to is um, right above the knee on both the inside and the outside. So not right on the knee joint, but right above the knee, uh, kind of all the way around. Last few moments.
Actually, one thing that I was just thinking of uh, at the time of filming this video, it's about 33 degrees outside Celsius. So, uh, and I think it's supposed to go up to 36 a little bit later on this afternoon. So there's no problems with muscles being warm now. But if you are watching this video in the middle of winter, assuming this video stays on YouTube forever, it's not necessary to have the muscles warm, but it, it's helpful. Uh, when I'm not super warm, you warm up pretty quickly, actually. It's quite extraordinary how just foam rolling can make you warm up quite quickly. But sometimes I'll go um, just for a quick walk or something before foam rolling. Again, it's, uh, it's kind of like yin in that it's not mandatory, but it works a little better if it's warm. So since I feel like I was kind of done my quads, I'm now working on abductors a little bit, so just in the inseams of the legs. If you feel a muscle go thunk, that means there is a... Oh, that one's much... Let's go, I'm gonna, I repeated right away. That alarm, the sound is much more um, loud than my other one. Before we do calf, let's flip over to do the left side. The time's already started. Ready? Here we go. So I like to just do the same thing as the first side. Oops. I'm just trying to aim for the inside of the IT band. <sighs> trying to trying to look comfortable and, and kind of cool. <laughs> Not working out for Garla. <laughs> Luckily with yoga and with foam rolling, there's no need to be graceful. So same as last time. For me, I don't know about with you, but each of my legs is different. Like one is stronger than the other for me. And I have like knots in different places and I'm sort of prone to knots in different places in each leg, which you may not even be aware of yet if you don't foam roll a lot. But for me, I foam roll quite a bit. Uh, I'd like to say I'm consistent for my whole life for 10 years, but that's not the case. I usually will go on like, I need to foam roll and I'll foam roll every few days for like three months. And then I'll get to a place where my muscles feel really, really, really good. And they both feel equal and even, but uh, then I somehow fall off that wagon often. It happens. Uh, but getting back on again, I find that it's interesting because then those knots are in the same places as they were last time. So again, it's about getting to know your body, not being like judgmental of it in any way, but noticing is a good thing. Keep going. Remember to take a few deep breaths here and there. Getting oxygen to the muscles is helpful. Also relaxing. So if you notice you're tensing up, there's probably too much pressure. So take a moment to figure out, is my leg tensing up at all? If it is, it's kind of counterproductive. In three minutes already. Oh, my T band area for my left leg is much tighter than my right leg.
Once again, reminding to slow, deep breathe. I tend to forget about that. I'm going to give you a little bit of time just in silence. I know I like to talk a lot, especially if there's really important good information, but for this, just find the spot, hold on the spot, and move on when it feels like it's released. You'll actually feel that release of the muscle, or sometimes you don't. Uh, what will happen is either you'll hang out on that spot for 30 seconds or so, you'll feel it release and you move on, or you might just feel it release a little, or, or, because that's a word, uh, or you won't feel it release, but it'll feel like I need to move on. It's, if you spend too much time and pressure on one spot, that's not healthy for the muscle either. So just tuning into when, yep, that's time to move on. It's not fully released, but I'll get it next time, okay? Slow, deep breathing. We've got about, oh, I've lost the camera, we've got about three and a half minutes left. Just for you to time that out for the last little bit of your quads, or maybe you've moved on eh, to glutes or something else. Not calves, though, we'll do that together, unless you already did on the first side, and that's okay. I'm going to do a little bit of adductors, so sort of inseam of the leg a little bit. And there's still some quads kind of on the top, but sort of inside.
Slow, deep breathing, almost on this left side. Last 10 seconds. There we go. Oh, for the calves, this is the, the best one because it's actually really um easy. I need a blanket. So I like a blanket. You can get all cozy and just, uh, oh, I need my timer. This is, this is it. Ta -da. So this one only five minutes. Here we go. You just put one leg on the foam roller. If your calves are already like not free, this might not do much for you. But for me, just the weight of my own leg is enough for me to kind of go <laughs> a little bit. So for foam rolling, the calves, you literally just sort of roll the leg back and forth. Whenever there's a spot, just hold. And then you move it a little bit lower, a little bit lower, all the way down the leg. Okay. <laughs> so here we are. And this one's only five minutes, four and a half left. And if you're not feeling it as much, you can double down. I don't need that. I actually am pushing down a little bit though. So I'm using my, my glutes and my quads to, but really try to relax the calves. That's a little bit tricky to do if you're using and engaging the upper part of the leg. But we really want the part of the leg that's on the foam roller to be very relaxed. If it's too much, instead of tensing, let up a little bit on the weight. Once in a while, there's a spot that you're like, why? Like, it almost feels like there's something, like there's too many nerve endings in one spot by accident. Something got messed up in the making of that calf or something. But uh, it's just a knot. Foam rolling can help. Holy gun. Even, oh. So for me, I'm, I'm definitely letting up. Uh, it's really sensitive for me. So I was going to say something and I forgot. <laughs> I'll tell you in the moment I am with this. It's really kind of funny. Oh, I remember it. If 
you are the type of person who, uh, because it does happen, um, when we used to do full milling classes, there were a few people who were like, I don't feel my calf, like they feel fine. And if that is you, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't mean that you don't need to foam roll anymore. Um, keeping that, once the muscle is soft and supple, that's fantastic, uh, but maintaining that is also a good idea. I have in the past done some foam rolling, not, not as often as I'd like to have had, uh, where I don't really feel much at all. The whole muscle feels great. Uh, and I've got full weight, full, um, relaxed, like it's, it's just done. And that's not a good time to stop foam rolling. For me, that's what I usually do because just remembering too, like, uh, depending on what's happening in your world, I know for me, self-care is really, really important. It's one of my top priorities. But, you know, when you're also working and sometimes at work you have deadlines to do and then you've got home obligations, you know, you might have young ones and, um, you know, there's a, a lot of people around my age, we've got parents that we're looking after and kids at the same time. And that's, you know, life is challenging. So for me, that would be one of my reasons, not an excuse, but just a reason why, okay, my phone rolling's good, next. You know what, it's sort of like damage control, right? Uh, if you've got a lot of obligations in your world, that's why I'm trying to find minimalization, like minimalist living, have you guys heard of that? Uh, I'm a big fan. Other side. I've been working towards a minimalist lifestyle for years and I'm still not there. So we're on our left, same thing, but I'm working on it like actually every year. So, uh, anytime I do like a big clean in my house, I try to do like a big clean, like once a week. Um, doesn't always think that way, but whenever I do sort of the deeper clean, sometimes it's just sporadic. Like I'll be cleaning the bathroom and I'll realize, Oh, I haven't actually organized this drawer in a long time. So I'll organize that drawer and toss out like old, nail polishes that are like dried up, that kind of thing. Um, but that you can, uh, it's a good start, right? To get your house all cleaned up. What I found was when I got rid of a lot of stuff and I still have more stuff to get rid of, um, there's less to clean. So cleaning doesn't take as long when you have to, you know, like, for instance, if you have uh, like a shelving unit in your living room and it's like a glass shelving unit and it's displaying lots of, let's say, brass ornaments. That's your thing, maybe. That's just my example. Uh, now, once in a while, I have to dust all those ornaments and the shelves too, right? Like it's part of the cleaning process. Well, that takes time. So for me, I wouldn't say like if you have a beautiful brass ornament collection and that's your thing and you love that and you've got, uh, you know, you've been doing this a long time. I'm not saying get rid of it. Uh, what I'm saying is if you have a brass collection and also a uh, such and such a collection and also a this and also a that, are these things actually bringing you joy still? Because some of us actually just keep things because, well, I have so many now and it's kind of impressive if I was still into that but the truth is i was into that 20 years ago and not so much anymore that's the type of thing i'm talking about and i know my husband and i have had conversations where we're like do we actually like these anymore <laughs> like if we've been carrying them around for 15 years we never hardly look at them uh let's get rid of them and then so that makes you have to clean less which is great you know even if you save an hour a week of cleaning that's awesome and then it spills over into other things in your world too. Minimalist stuff. Awesome. But then sometimes you go too far and your whole house echoes. <laughs> Maybe I need carpet. Carpet's harder to clean than linoleum though, or vinyl or whatever this is. Looks like wood. 
easier to clean than wood. Is anyone noticing one side with calves a little bit already looser than another side, like one side tighter than the other? It's good to notice those kinds of things because the calves are getting closer to our feet, which is like uh, your foundation. So if you have a tendency to pronate with your feet or supinate, that travels all the way up your body. So if you are um, like pronating with, with uh, one or both of your feet, your calves will probably be compensating or, or tighter on one side than the other. Fun fact. Last minute. me. That's really funny. I'm a very jumpy person. Often my husband will come around the corner and I'll go, ah! And I'll be like, but like I live here. I Anyway, it's fine. You're done. All done. So I hope that you're finding out that foam rolling is not that bad. It's, uh, and, and your muscles will feel so much better. And so lots of water today, maybe go for a walk, let everything circulate, get your lymphatic system going to help drainage and get all those toxins out. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section on this video and I will definitely respond to them. Namaste and have a really, really good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.